Alex Ogden Bookbinder here with a video about working with leather for Bibles. And the first part of the video will be about pairing of leather. And then the second part will be working of the leather around the corners of the rounded cornered Bible, softback Bible. Uh, working those, uh, those corners is uh, one of those areas that's a little more difficult and a lot of people seem to have problem with that but uh, I never have had a big issue with it. So we'll show you how I do that. And the tools that we use for that, uh, for pairing of leather, we use this pairing knife. This is the way it comes when you buy it from uh, this particular one from Talus. There are others and uh, arguably uh, some much, much better ones than this. This is very basic. And, uh, but it uh, is the knife, uh, pairing knife that uh, is used the main thing is to keep it sharp, so we have a, a, a wet rock to uh, sharpen it up from time to time, and uh, some leather uh, for stropping. In fact, an old barber's strop I was able to get for free from my barber, but uh, nevertheless, uh, stropping it back and forth uh, will help keep that fine point on there, and it's imperative that it remain extremely sharp to be able to cut through that leather easily. So the first part of the video that we have uh, already recorded will be dealing with the pairing of leather and uh, but then the second part as I said will be working the leather around the corners and really this is the only little tool that I have this was a, a, a uh, just a uh, leather working tool of some sort that I picked up somewhere it's just basically a strong needle and uh, to use to in working that uh, leather down into proper pleats at the rounded corners of a Bible cover. So I hope that you'll enjoy this video. If you like it, please indicate it and uh, let us know any comments that you might have. But hoping you have a wonderful day. The first pass that I make with my paring knife, my very sharp paring knife, is a long ribbon of leather that I'll cut off and uh, in this case going in probably a half of an inch or five-eighths of an inch something of that nature uh, and just going the whole length down down the leather and uh, just trying to keep that that going and uh, if you've got a good sharp knife this will work well and you can see it uh, uh, produced a, a very good uh, splice of that uh, leather there but now what I'm doing is to come back and now take off that ridge uh, right where you see the leather coming off there uh, the the edge of where I took that first swipe uh, leaves a little ridge there so I come back and basically just focus on taking that ridge off and that basically will uh, make the slope from about where you see the line for the edge of the board on down to the edge of the uh, piece of leather make it one continuous slope uh, and uh, make a, tr uh, a smooth transition to the uh, complete edge of the leather. Uh, one of the thing about working with leather in this way, you'll notice that uh, I have to keep stopping and knocking off the leather uh, scraps from the, the knife. They seem to stick to the knife somewhat and you, you need to get those out of the way, but you have to be careful not to allow any any slivers of leather to fall underneath the leather because if you do that that little bump underneath there sticking up and the knife coming across it will hit that bump and then cause a hole in the leather and then basically if it's not in a very good place you may have to start all over and leather is not cheap so you want to avoid that now you notice I'm spending a lot of tension on these corners on this particular corner and I do on all four of course this is a, a Bible so it's going to have rounded corners and to make the kind of pleats that are needed that we illustrate later uh, needs to have just as thin of leather in this area as uh, we can get it but again you have to be careful because if you cut it off you then you don't have anything to cover the uh, the corner and that's when uh, you can have trouble and have to start over so you have to be careful but uh, I just continue to uh, do that very carefully to bring that whole corner area down as thin as possible I do make one final pass around the perimeter of the leather, feathering it out as thin as I can.
In creating a proper rounded leather corner on a Bible, I first of all glue the board down to the leather, then do the turn in, and then I come and turn my attention to the corners and put in the glue. Here I was still using the uh, same medium sized brush I had used for doing the turn in, but uh, used plenty of PVA to, to get in there. Then I use my little leather tool to make it into the pleats that are needed. And I generally start in the middle, that is sort of halfway across the, uh, the round, the curve, and then I just begin creating little pleats with the tool and you'll see my finger and the fingernail of my finger being used to uh, grab and hold into place each of those little pleats that I'm making. And uh, since I'm using PVA glue, it is able to, uh, to uh, adhere after just a few seconds and, and uh, you know, enough that I can work it. You can see here using the tool to uh, make sure each pleat is arranged properly. But then I'm going to use my Teflon folder. And, you don't have a Teflon folder, you need one. Bone folder is good, but it will drag some on leather, but the Teflon doesn't. But uh, here I see, you see me using it to make sure that it is all perfectly rounded around the corner and uh, to smooth down those pleats, going to try to make those pleats permanent. And uh, I've got the video shortened a little bit, but uh, you get the idea of uh, what we do and clean it up and adjust it as needed to uh, pull in tight to that corner to make sure there's none, none that bulges out right at the curve itself. Something else I do is to use a, bo a uh, book binding hammer to uh, hammer those pleats down and they become then permanent. Some final little touch-ups to make sure that uh, no little points are sticking out on any part of that radius and then the job uh, is done for that particular corner and you can see in the close-up here how those pleats look in the end.